Hi, YouTubers and WhatsAvers everywhere. It's MarvinGeorgeTune.com. I'm back with another video. This time around, we are going to have a shave with what I consider to be the most aggressive three-piece razor I have ever used. This is the Ristretto from Global Shave Clubs International and Sheldon Quinn. Don't be fooled by the Gillette Tech head. This is not a mild razor at all. This is ultra aggressive. I was blown away at how aggressive a razor this is and how, uh, how close of a shave I got with this. Absolutely amazing. This is stainless steel construction. It has a beautiful hefty handle. It comes in two coatings, chrome and black, which you see here, and also gold and black. Really, really very, very nice. So we're gonna have a shave with this. And in order to have a good shave with this, we're gonna need a good blade. So I'm gonna be using the Zircon blade. This is the Zircon Super Platinum, also supplied by Sheldon Quinn. Surprisingly smooth blade. Really like this, sharp and smooth. And with this razor and this blade, I'm probably only going to need two passes. All right, so we're gonna kick it off with some ACH Brito Glyce soap because I'm gonna really need a slick base. I'm gonna use some Arco shave soap in a puck. I'm gonna do a face lather uh, with this uh, because I'm gonna need that extra thickness and cushion because it's an aggressive razor. I'm gonna be using my DS Cosmetic Flat Top Shaving Brush because I am gonna do a face lather. I'm gonna finish it off with my Osma Allen Block, see what kind of feedback I get, see if I get any stinging, any zinging, that sort of thing. Uh, Luberderm uh, Aftershave Balm, and I'm gonna mix in a little bit of Clubman uh, Virgin Isle Bay Rum. So because this is unscented, I'm going to go ahead and mix this in and I'm going to get a Bay Rum Balm. So that's really kind of neat. The first thing I'm going to do is I am going to put a little bit of hot, 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 hot water. Move my brush out of the way. I'm just going to take my brush out while I put the hot water on top of this puck and I'm going to let it, just let it soak up a little bit with a little bit of hot water to soften it up just a little bit. Now I'm going to put the brush back in. I'm going to let it soak and I'm going to uh, just let that soak up for the equivalent of a hot shower. I've already had a hot shower, but I'm going to let this set up a little bit and I'll be right back to start to shave. Okay, we're just about set up. Before I forget, Sheldon wanted me to let all my viewers know that as a viewer of this channel, when you go to globalshave.club and place an order, use the code IWATCHMARK and receive 15% discount. That's really, really very nice. Remember, the code is IWATCHMARK. Get a 15% discount. Okay, so let's get going with this shave here. I'm gonna go ahead and use the, uh, the Glyce soap. I'm gonna wet my face and get some on there, and let's get going. Of razor, so we are going to really need to be careful here. I'm telling you, use a very, very light touch with this razor. I'm going to heat it up here under some really, really hot, hot water and I'm going to give it a swirl just to bring it up the temperature now. All right, here we go 30 degrees, a light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. And th that is incredibly, incredibly efficient and incredibly aggressive, but I'm lightening up on my touch a lot.
the zircon blade makes for a very, very smooth shave. I really, really lighten up on my touch a lot. I mean, it's very aggressive. I am not an aggressive, how can I say this? Um, well, I tend to like razors that are mild, just approaching aggressive, or on the mild side, this razor is aggressive. So I really have to, <laughs> I really have to look, really have to pay attention to what I'm doing. All right, that's the first pass done. Let's rinse. Very nice. Really, really efficient first pass. I'm only going to need two passes for sure. And really need to go through this second pass here because in talking, I noticed that the soap was getting a little dry and losing a lot of its lubricating qualities. It's not the fault of the soap, it's the fault of me talking too much while I'm shaving. So that's one of the things you have to be aware of with certain soaps, not all of them. But the Arco is terrific soap. It just said, yeah, with any soap, if you wait a little too long, you're going to uh, need, to, need to put a little, more, a, little, a little more water in there. But we're good for uh, a second pass here. And again, I have to really lighten up on my touch because the handle and the blade do all the work, really. Do not press down. If you're used to using a mild razor like I am, this is going to be a very, very big departure. All right, so here we go. We're going to go with a second pass, east to west, across the grain. Okay, that's the second pass done. Let's rinse. It took me a lot of rinsing to get off the, uh, the slickness there. I'm going to have to remove some more with my two final rinses. So we're going to go with those because two passes and I'm done. That's how efficient this razor is. It is, again, super, super aggressive. And if you use it for the first time, you have to lighten up on your touch. Now, I did get just a little a small little nick here, operator error. Again, that's because you got to lighten up on your touch. But you can see there's nothing there. It's going to close up with cold water. But again, lighten up on your touch. It is really an aggressive razor. Don't be fooled. I'm going to tell you again, don't be fooled by this Gillette Tech design. This is a completely different geometry from the Gillette Tech that you might be familiar with. It's not at all mild. It's aggressive. Yeah, just a little bit there. It's going to close up with cold water. Not a problem at all. Okay, here's my warm water rinse. Boy, brilliant. Oh man, wonderful. Now cold water rinse. Took me a while. It took me a little bit to get rid of all that slickness because of the glyce soap and the Arco. Arco has a lot of uh, nice uh, lubrication, but again, 
Don't let it sit on your face too long or it will start getting dry. You want to make sure it's more on the wet side than on the dry side, obviously. So here we go with my cold water rinse. Oh, that's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I got a nice clean towel waiting for me right here. Nice, beautiful. And you can see, whatever I had there closed right up with the cold water, so it was very, very minor. But the reason why I pointed it out is because it's an incredibly, incredibly aggressive razor. you got to lighten up on your touch, absolutely no doubt. Now, the Osmo Allen block is going to tell the tail of the tape to see how much zinging and stinging I get. If I get a lot of stinging, then I know that, you know, this is... Uh, a little too aggressive of a laser for me. However, um, I doubt it. I've shaved with this about uh, two to three times already, and each time the alum block was smooth, very, very smooth. No stinging at all, maybe a slight zing, slight zing here and there. Smooth, 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 smooth. Smooth as ice. Ah, now I. Feel with it right there from the from the slight little bit of nick, but it's it's doing its job of uh, disinfecting it and uh, really wow, really, 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 really close, close shave again. Uh, I can't stress enough. This razor, really, <laughs> it's aggressive. It's an aggressive razor. The zircon blade is nice and smooth, and I think that helps offset the aggression a little bit. Uh, but uh, my gosh, that's an aggressive razor. It really is. I mean, you're going to have, you're going to be done in two passes. If you are fair skinned like me, and you tend to lean towards a milder shave, uh, boy, proceed with a little bit of awareness how aggressive this razor is. I'm going to let that set up, I'm going to do a little clean up, and I'll be right back. This brush cleaned up so quickly. Uh, love the synthetic brushes. Really do love the synthetic brushes. This is, a, this is becoming a favorite because of the flat top, great for face lathering. And look, look how it just cleaned up. Just, just give it a ring, shake. Buff on the towel, and it's good to go. I thought I was going to mix this up with some balm. No, because I didn't get that stinging and zinging and everything. I got a nice smooth shave. I'm going to reward myself with just some straight bay rum. Beautiful, beautiful. And we're going to use a little bit of the Lubriderm on top. Great shave, an aggressive shave, absolutely no doubt about it. This ristretto is not for the faint of heart, I'm telling you. I am a mild razor lover. <laughs> I like razors that are mild and just approaching aggressive. Uh, this one is aggressive. This is by far the most aggressive three-piece razor I have ever used and I use it with great care. And it's a little difficult using this razor on camera because you really have to pay attention to what you're doing. This is aggressive. If you want an aggressive razor, this is the one to get. And I've used some uh, adjustables at a higher aggressive setting. Boy, this is right up there with it. Uh, I mean, look, it is just, it's, it's, it really does give you a close, efficient shave. It's on the aggressive side. I mean, that's, I mean, that's all I can say. I mean, it really, it really is. And I have a, you know, I had this one little, you can see this one little nick right here. That's because my technique slipped up a little bit. 
not to follow the razor because I've got a irritation free shave. That's the amazing thing. With the zircon blade and this razor, I got an irritation free shave. Um, the soap and uh, the pre shave you use are definitely key in this. The Arco did a pretty good job, although I got significantly better lubrication and slickness from Razor Rocks, What the Puck, Lime Burst. But I wanted to try the Arco this morning. I think the Lime Burst gave me a little more slickness than the Arco, but uh, the Arco gives me, I think, a denser lather. So six and one, half a dozen the other. The Glyce soap, for sure, gave me a good slick base, although pre-shave oil, like the gentleman from Vikings Blade, I think sometimes does a better job. Uh, but that requires me to sometimes do a bowl lather and paint it on because some soaps don't play nice with some pre-shave oils. Uh, and I wanted to do a face lather. So that's why I went with Glyce and Arco. Good combination, gave me, a, gave me a nice shave. But again, with the Arco, you know, you gotta, you gotta get to the business of shaving. You don't want that soap to dry out a little bit too much on your face. You might need to add some water. Probably should have added a little bit of water there. Maybe that's what it was. Maybe it dried up too much over there. I don't know. But uh, all in all, I got a really, 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 really close shave after two passes. And I mean close and irritation free and um, really, really very, very nice. So uh, don't be fooled by the look of this razor head. Even though it looks like a mild Gillette Tech, it is not. It is absolutely aggressive. The handle has some wonderful, wonderful hay heft to it so that it does the job. It does the work. It's like uh, swinging a golf club. Uh, the club does all the work. This handle does all the work. And the Zircon blade is really a very, very smooth blade and paired up very nicely with this razor. So that's it. The Ristretto. Remember, globalshave.club. Enter the code IWATCHMARK and get a 15% discount. Okay, thanks very, very much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. Please share. Please subscribe. Hit that bell so it'll give you a yell the next time I upload a video. Comment below. Let me know. Do you like using an aggressive razor for your daily shave? Please check out my blog, georgetune.com slash blog for my comic strip, George. Other cartoons, other videos like this. And I'll see you again real soon.